Good evening. All right, so I am home. Uh, this is the first video I've done from the set since uh, the ninth of the month, uh, so about 10 days. Uh, and I want to cover some of the things that happened while I was away, as well as get into the news of the day. And of course, the number one thing people have been talking about the last couple of days, the passing of Rick Jenneret, the, the voice of the Buffalo Sabres for a very long time. And of course, uh, a sad time for the Sabres organization, for friends and family of Rick Jenneret as well. And so just personally passing along my condolences uh, in what is a difficult time. But he will be remembered as the voice of the Sabres for a great many years to come. All right, so some news and getting into some stuff that took place while I was gone here as well, which is the Kale McCarr has been named the cover athlete for NHL 24. I think that's a good pick. A uh, young player, a uh, dynamic defenseman. I have made my argument for how I feel he is in the standing amongst the all-time best, or not all-time, the best defenseman playing in the National Hockey League right now. All-time's a whole other argument we can have later. But uh, yeah, Kale McCarr named athlete of, of NHL 24, at least the cover athlete. Let me know your thoughts on this pick, how you feel uh, that went, and who you might have picked instead. That kind of thing, right? So it is Kale McCarr this year. We'll see who they pick next year. But uh, yeah, McCarr, I think, is a solid pick. I, I have no complaints at all. Uh, speaking of defensemen, Logan Stanley has re-upped with the Winnipeg Jets. Stanley has had uh, some good moments, but he's also had some frustrating ones as well at the National Hockey League level. I hope he gets a full season with the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, he is a big defenseman. He, I think he's better than some people give him credit for, but I will admit this past 12 months, he's had a struggle. So hopefully with a one-year extension worth $1 million, he feels that uh, that desire and that effort shows up as well, and we see him excel this year with the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, he's a big defenseman. I, I, and again, I think he's probably better than some give him credit for, but I, I do understand why the detractors are out there. So maybe this year he proves those detractors wrong. Uh, Jonathan Marcheseau, with a team that proved retractors wrong five years ago and continues to do so now as Stanley Cup champions in Las Vegas. Uh, Marcheseau gets his date with the Stanley Cup today, and where did he take it? Quebec City. This is one of the reasons why I don't get too upset. I mean, it would be great to see a Canadian team win the Stanley Cup, but it's fun to see the Stanley Cup come to Canada as often as it does during the summer, in that players born in Canada will often bring it here, and Jonathan Marcheseau brings it to Quebec City. So he brought it to Quebec City. One of his visits, and he he definitely took the cup all over today, uh, he visited the Children's Hospital. Uh, I think that's great when players bring that to Children's Hospital. Uh, these kids get a chance to see the Stanley Cup, which they may never have had a chance to see, may never see uh, that day going forward. Hey, I've never seen the Stanley Cup in person myself, so I think that's awesome for them. And uh, it's nice of Marcia So to do that. Amongst other things he did today as well in Quebec City, with that Stanley Cup. And I know the Stanley Cup is going to be around here soon as well. Um, I, I don't know that I'm necessarily going to see it, but I do know that it's going to be here. I believe Langley is where it's going to end up being, which isn't too far from here. Uh, there was a trade last night in the National Hockey League. Uh, I did not uh, rush back to my room to report on it. I felt like it wasn't necessarily a trade that gets a video of its own. So here it is. Ilya, De Ilya Labushkin is now a member of the Anaheim Ducks. So the Ducks, a team with a lot of cap space. Again, that's deceptive, right? Drysdale's not signed. Zegers is not signed. They need to sign these guys. Uh, it, we're getting close to training camp now. So the sooner Zegers can get signed, the better. I had actually expected Zegers to be signed while I was down in California. It did not happen. So Labushkin goes to the Anaheim Ducks from Buffalo for a 2025 fourth round pick. Buffalo, of course, lots of depth on their blue line now. And so Labushkin, more uh, expendable right now than he might have been a year ago. Uh, he has a $2.75 million cap hit for one more year. So on that Ducks blue line, he could be used as a mentor. He's 29 years of age, so he's not an old defenseman. And uh, so then Anaheim has a choice. Try to keep him and re-sign him for the season beyond, uh, maybe beyond that as well. Or flip them at the deadline, retain some of that cap money, and see what they can get back. But all they sacrificed in this was a 2025 fourth round pick. Pretty good work by Pat Verbeek. Uh, Jonathan Taves, of course, a couple days ago announcing that he's taking a year off. He is not retiring from the National Hockey League. The one thing is, when a player's in their mid-30s and they take a year off, it is very difficult to get back into shape. It is very difficult to get back on the ice. Um, totally understand why Taves is taking that year off. He's had his health concerns for the last few years. And so absolutely understanding that that time off is required by him. He had a nice message for Chicago fans as well in stating that he will not be playing this coming season. And of course, 
We're still waiting on what's going to happen with Patrick Kane, where he's going to sign and what's going to happen there. But Taves will not be playing this coming season. Uh, Marion Hosa, another good story here and again taking place while I was away. I believe this was yesterday. Uh, Marion Hosa says goodbye to hockey, played a nice star-studded uh, charity game, including Nick Lidstrom in full gear. He still looks like he could go. Uh, and that was in Slovakia. So we'll see if Nick Lidstrom gets signed to a PTO by the Wings. If Lidstrom tries to get him to sign on with the Wings. Uh, again, it, it, Lidstrom, he's one of those guys, he, he'll be in his 60s and he'll still look like he could, he could just play. Uh, it's that whole Rod Brindamore syndrome where some players, they retire, they stay in shape, they're still... They still look like they can go, and, and Lidstrom's definitely a guy in that situation. So it was nice to see Hosa doing that, uh, having a star-studded game where the money goes to charity. And so that's amazing uh, on behalf of him as well as the star hockey players playing with him in that game. But yeah, so there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video, and yes, I got home. I got home safely before uh, the storm hits Southern California, as I mentioned in a video yesterday. Uh, it, it, it looks like it's going to be a, a pretty, pretty big, scary storm, and it's a lot of rain in a very short period of time. So more than the winds, and the winds get a lot of interest and, and a lot of press, but it is the rain. It is that, that the ground is, is not ready for that, and it just runs right off, and it can cause flash floods. So be careful if you're in the Southern California area. And uh, yeah, so you'll be in my thoughts over the coming days. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. And of course, I am extremely tired. So if there were any mistakes I made in this video, I heartfully apologize for those mistakes. But I will talk to you again soon. Thank you guys so much for all your support.